So, okay, there we go. And then we'll just loop that for the snake length. Um, for now, we're just going to set the snake length equals three. Because <laughs> for now, it does. And yeah, that should be that bit of code dealt with, I think. Obviously, it is only drawing body at the minute. It needs to work out when it's on the last one to draw a towel, when it's on a corner to draw a corner. So when like, the direction's different this time than it was last time to do that. And we can store that in a minute. The next thing that we have to do is this with the set positions. So in... Oh, what am I doing? Tile size equals head dot... Get size... I'm going to have to go through and create that declaration. Um, in get size. Copy that. Uh, what do I store it as? Oh, no, wait. This is in snake. No, that's a dreadful place. Don't put it there. So this comes from... Where, 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 where are we? Where are we? Here. Here's where we are. We need to go into sprite. H. And put it in here. We store it as a width and a height. That's helpful. Um, don't worry about that for now. <laughs> this is the bonkiest code ever. Like, so much of this is actually not applicable anywhere else. So, return this width. What are you moaning for? And did I save this? Now you should be happy again. Yeah, it's happy again. Let's remove them, and now we have head dot get size as tile size. We are doing this dot x times tile size. This is all going to do, which times in everything by this tile size. And we need to store all this in brackets. I say store, that is completely the wrong word. Oh no, wait, because this isn't right. <laughs> this isn't right at all. Oh my god, this really isn't right, is it? So what we've got to do is this grid that we're affecting tells us where the body and where the head and all that should be drawn. So we're passing this level position that could we could use that. <laughs> um Yeah, I think we will, because what we'll do is, instead of passing it level position, we will once again pass it all this information. And like so. And in draw over here, we're just going to... Main's going to moan now, though, because now main's going to be wrong. But that's fine for now. We don't want to rotate the head at the minute. We'll deal with rotations in a bit. And what we want to do is this. We want to run a loop. I is less than level X. I plus plus. And then do that and write it again for J. J equals zero. J is less than level Y. J plus plus. In here, we are going to get the level uh, info. What am I doing? Level info info equals uh, grid i j. This is where we're using this code. So what we're doing here then is have a switch. That differently said switch. Switch command a uh, command um block of info dot sprite. Awesome case snake head so if we have a snake head there we are going to draw a snake head this isn't quite as simple because we're going to have to do a bit of movement to do this but this is probably also not the best way to do this I can already think of a better way to do this, and that is to basically use the same bit of code we had a minute ago to loop the snake's length. <laughs> that would probably be the better way to do it. But for now, I'm going to code it like this, and I will optimize in a moment. 
I'm going to do it like this just to make sure it works. Tau and cooler. Right. Define snake body one. Expected. What? It has that. So leveling for a sprite. It has a colon on the end. Screw you. <laughs> I'll just use numbers then. What we're going to do is set the head position. I times tile size. J times tile size. Tile size is undefined. Of course it is. Because we didn't define it here. We defined it in that other function. So we'll just define it here instead. And we'll do this. Now this is probably going to be a bit bonky. But hey, what are you going to do? Body. Body. Tail. Tail. Corner. Corner. And comment all these out as well. Nope. Nope. Uh, did I did I close that or did it automatically close it? So this now sets the position and draws it. Let's try and see what happens. Probably going to get errors. I'll be amazed if this works first time. There is an error, of course there is. Void snake update cannot convert argument two from level info star to level info info. Uh, level info star star. All about that. Of course, because I don't pass it that, I have to pass it grid. Um, yeah, I need to work out how to do this. Um, let's open up... What am I opening up? That makes it so much easier. I don't know why I didn't do it like that in the first place. Alright, and then you've got no problems, you've got no problems. You've got a problem in the sense that you need me to pass you level, grid level X and level Y and now you shouldn't have a problem you should just pass levels grid 0 which will be the first position yes oh I don't think I really need the 0 on the end but it should work it should help it shouldn't <laughs> it doesn't do anything no suitable conversion from level info to level info pointer exists uh, one oh because I need the address of level info not and she snake draw level info no 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 cannot convert argument one from level info to level info start that's fine it doesn't need to anymore because I have fixed that that was all the errors it popped up we can't have got that right first time yeah um, we're getting a bonkers place because of direction and speed, I believe. <sighs> Let's start by setting direction instead of being 3. What is 3? <laughs> 3 is this x plus equals this speed. Oh, so it should start moving sideways. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this X and Y start at zero. That's fine. Uh, this dot X modulus equals level X. And do the same with Y. This will just mean that we uh, don't use dots. That's not what this means. This just means we loop. So we can loop around the map. And this should look weird. We're not drawing though, are we? So I need to start printing some variables at the end of this. We need to stop that, slow that down a bit. Uh, the way, can you hear that siren? <laughs> the way we stop that is in update, we are gonna first include timer. And if timer does not equal, does not equal zero, Turn, uh, do timer modulus 30. So every 30, 
ticks, it'll do it in main.cpp. We are going to do in here, which is where update is. Put timer. Also, have at the beginning of everything we do, we're going to do timer plus plus and define that up here in timer. There we go, and set it to equal zero. So now every time it loops, it's just going to do zero. Ooh, what are you worried about? No, wait. Oh, um, in timer. There we go. Now that's correct. I think. Yeah. So now it should slow the, um, the speed down a bit. So now the... There we go. See, it's a lot slower. But we're still not drawing. Oh, fucking move out of the way. Uh, yeah, so that's definitely printing wrong. So we need to head over into our sprite dot h and our sprite with cpp and check what is going on. This is returning this dot width. Do we ever store this dot width? Uh, da -da 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 data. We do not. Let's 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 give that a go. And this h also we're gonna this h is also gonna equal h. So now, we might actually draw a snake on the screen. And it might actually move through the world. No, it doesn't. But we do have 32 print in there, which is good. Awesome. Let's try moving the Y position. So let's set Y to equal like 3 or something. So it's not on the top one. Just to make sure it's not um, being drawn off the screen. So I'm not drawing the bottom. Which I might very well be. That's right. Oh! Oh, um, one thing we do need to do, clearly. So. <laughs> oh my god! No, oh, hang on, what's happened there? Uh, the, um. Fucking hell? Alright. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Oh shit, that's not good. That's because we just closed it, I think. That's fine. Uh, in snake.cpp, what we're actually going to do is copy this quick and we are going to add level X and level Y first just to make sure that it rolls over. So we're drawing this in position, um, code position, uh, grid position three, and it is actually drawing on two. So we must be drawing at the bottom. We've just got bonky code. Oh no, because it's not drawing properly, it's... Yeah, because it's drawing at the bottom instead. Okay. But, in essence, we kind of have... Um... Snake. It's moving on the grid. Alright, it's not exactly perfect at the minute, but... What I might be able to do... Ooh, thick. <laughs> So we do have the snake drawn on the grid, and I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, so we can remove that now. So now we know where we're drawing. We kind of need to um, improve this a little bit. So we do need to offset it. Mm. It might be. Because... Ah, oh, fucking hell, of course it is. In here... We only need to offset. Oh no, not this. Sorry. We only need to offset by half of this width, and this width is not screen adjusted. <laughs> this width is not screen adjusted. We also need to store screen width and screen height, or screen adjuster and screen. Uh, yeah, screen adjuster for width and height. I think. So let's do that. So here. Rather than doing this, we're going to copy this, uh, cut this, sorry, over into here and make also SH. So now we're going to store these globally, not globally, but globally for this and SW and delete that. Now they're stored, oh no, um, we need to times them by width and height, which we'll do here, so GL. Uh, GL float 
equals SW times width and height times height and just call them SW and SH still because that will never get confusing <laughs> of course it won't so then what we need to do is take this whole number and times it by screen width take this whole number and times it by screen height and now what we've done is because obviously we're trying to move it by 16 pixels but it's not 16 according to our screen according to our, oh fuck <laughs> according to our screen it's according to our screen it's not 16 sorry it's um naught point something and obviously that's why we use screen width and screen height adjusters that's what we done originally um, when we made the object and so when we're then moving it by 16 we're fucking it like 16 times the size of the screen off and one two three four one two three four times screen width so that is all one um thing there one two three four one two three four five Huh? So what have I done differently here? One, 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 two, three, one, two, three, one, one, divided by this. That's just got another bracket around it. Oh, fuck, what's this? <laughs> like that? No, that's not right. Like that's right. I'll put time screen height right on the end. And now, hopefully, no, <laughs> we don't get errors. <laughs> What errors have I got? Uh, uninitialized local variable SW is used. We initialize it there. This. Let's just add this onto everything. Including here. And here. Also, here. We don't need this anymore. Which. This is so much better. Because... <laughs> This works towards what I've been wanting to do for quite a while, which is make this so that it is um, usable elsewhere, not on this side screen. So we're going to be able to pass it the screen width, the screen height, get it to determine its own aspect ratio and everything. But for now, work or don't, whatever. An initialized version is used um, equals zero. Equals zero. We define it there, so it doesn't really matter because we define it before it's ever used. <laughs> Uninitialized local variable SW is used. <laughs> oh my god, I really am an imbecile. All that I done, and I just had to do that because we was using. We defined SW, and then we're trying to use the global variable, so we need to tell it to use the global variable. And there we go. It draws! Kinda. <laughs> That's dreadful! <laughs> um, yeah, clearly we're drawing in the completely wrong place. Because we don't need to offset it. And the reason we don't need to offset it, if you're wondering, is because the tiles are offset as well. So by offsetting the tiles, we've sort of cancelled out the offsetting of... Uh, everything else. Uh, the snake. Oh, no, don't rotate by 16, uh, 1600. <laughs> Just rotate by 160. And now we should have a completely working version of snake. Ignore that it draws them up there at first. That is completely fine. But it's drawing it in the middle of the tile. And it's not the tile I think it's meant to be. Because it's off fucking. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Everything's fine. Stop that. Everything's fine. Let's take these moves out. The default position is kind of a problem. We do need to do as well is... Do it two equals sprite. So set the sprite positions at first. Do we need to? We do need to. I think... Yeah, we do need to. We need to work out a way of removing them. So, this one, what we're doing is updating it, but we need to remove the previous position of the X's and the Y's and the stuffs. 
the way we do that is... Uh, how do we do that without making sure... One way making sure we don't erase our current ones. So this is easy enough because once we're drawing into this, once we've finished drawing all this, we can set the... Because it's going to do this, it's going to change direction. This will go for the tower as well. Ooh. So what we can then do is the grid current x plus current y times level x dot sprite actually equals minus one. And this way, if you ignore the um, ones in the top left corner, because please ignore the ones in the top left corner, we will now just draw a snake that is our correct length. And let's just try and make this look normal. There we go. Yay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I need to stop closing it like that and close it properly. Last thing we're going to do, if um, I does not equal, does not equal this dot snake leg, minus one then do that else set it to actually equal snake tail and just define this with a little bit of brackets with a little bit of brackets we can make it through tonight like that and now what we should get if all goes well is a snake with a towel as its last icon, which is good because <laughs> we can completely tear around ourselves, but that's fine. We have a snake and it will um, flow around and it doesn't, it doesn't like doing that very much because it doesn't erase the new ones. Ah, uh, because of that, yeah, that makes sense. So we've still got a few bugs that we do need to correct. We need to correct this problem that we have, so turning corners definitely a problem we need to detect and sort and yeah so we do have a few problems we should check out but for the most part it's um, definitely looking like a game of snake in my opinion next episode we're going to work on being able to turn tiles and we're also going to work on removing tiles from positions they shouldn't be in so these ones and these ones and stuff but for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining me today. If you did like this, please do hit that like button and please do hit that subscribe button. I probably might move these over onto a new channel once these are done. Um, something of similar record, I imagine. But it'll just be coding videos rather than gaming videos as well. So let me know if you think that's going to be a good idea. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I shall see you all next time. Bye.